whilst I drink some of my coke as well. Uh, to more to have some soda actually. Here we go.
just really go in and use our, our wits and see if we can find anything that's going to do the job. Let's have a look. There must be somewhere around here that we can go. I guess maybe if we go up to like these trees here and then dry foraging wood here. It might give us a better chance of getting some, uh, some actual wood. Let's have a look. Forage wood. down 
find out in a minute. The first thing we need to do is not stand around in the cold and try and focus on making sure that we survive. <laughs> it looks like there's come some kind of like barricade that's been done over here. It sounds like my stamina is struggling a little bit, but we're okay. Oh, it looks like there's been some kind of like train crash or something over here. Man, oh man. Yeah, everything's been messed up. Lots of, lots of wood and uh, collapsed tunnel. Yeah, it's completely, completely smashed up. Okay. Can we forage for some wood here? Let's see. I just want to just forage for one. Just see what it is that it gives us. If it's more plugs, I don't need them. I need actual wood. Uh, yeah, didn't put, no, I don't need, don't need those. Okay. I'll forget that for now then. Let's head down this way a little bit. My hunger is getting up there, but I have food, so that's not a problem. I can quench that. Quench the hunger. <laughs> the main thing that I can't deal with right now is getting too cold, because I really don't have any wood at all, even though there are lots of trees all around here. You'd think that I'd be able to just like, like for example here, these branches, you'd think I'd be able to just chop one down or two or three, uh, but it doesn't seem to be possible. I'm going to try though, because it might be something that I can do that I'm just doing wrong at the moment. But there we go, we've tried and it's just giving me more tinder plugs which are of no use to me, because I have like a million of them now. <laughs> but never mind. It's not a major concern right now. There is a little house here. I thought there was something. I doubt there's anything of any significance in there, but it's always worth checking. Dead fall area. Oh, it's a broken house, that's why. It's all smashed up. There's just a little stove. We're getting off track slightly, but at least we know there's a place to make some warmth there if we needed to. I know we definitely have the ability to make a fire if we need to. There are some bunnies around here doing their little bunny thing, bunnying around. <laughs> but we don't need bunnies. What we need is some or something, anything to try to help us survive the area. <sighs> Come on, you can do it. Get up the hill. Good job, good job. Want to get back on path again? There are some cabins that we have not yet explored, and it seems pointless to waste them. Our calories have just gone past the 1500 mark, and we are heading back towards the railway. <laughs> That's our hunger. Okay. Just gonna take a quick pit stop and have something like a candy bar. That'll do. For now, that's just a temporary little fix. Now one of these deers here yeah, just hanging out. <laughs> it's really cool actually. Okay, back at the railway. Smashed up stuff is down there. So we're going to go over here to where this train carriage is to find out if there's anything of any use for us over here. Hopefully there is. But unfortunately there's no guarantees. Never any guarantees in these places like this.
which would probably be quite sensible. You know, the bit that actually has all the bits and pieces that we need. I think those, those walls there are the ones that we should be afraid of. They're the ones that can really attack us if they want to. Uh, yep, so there's uh, trains that are completely off the rails there. There is a plastic container that has a drink in it. Okay. Uh, there is a flare. There is a first aid kit that has a bandage and there is a ravaged carcass. 36 minutes, 18 minutes. What we'll do with the heart, the uh, hatchet? Take all that meat off. Uh, how cold are we now? Not too bad. Let's take the hide off as well then. Uh, with a hunting knife, we might as well. It's going to be getting colder again. That might be something that's useful. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> okay, we've got some bits and pieces off of that, which I'm sure will be quite useful. It's getting quite dark again, and actually, it's getting quite chilly. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through. There is actually quite a wind. <sighs> that was a bit cold. Okay, there's a chill wind setting in. What we need to do is. Probably try and find some kind of shelter. Uh, I'm thinking that it might be worth. Oh, that cold is really setting really quickly. Okay, let's see if we can get. Uh, I'm just looking and there must be a house or something that we can go and check out. <sighs> what a chill wind. It's nasty. What time is it? Oh, it's 5 36 pm. It's going to be dark soon as well. Okay. Well, we're going to take a risk. We're going to go and see if we can find a place to stay for the evening. There must be somewhere around here that we can visit. Must, 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 must be. Somewhere up here, maybe. Let's take a look. Oh, there's another train loading area. Okay. It's frozen corpse. Nothing. Nothing! Is there anything down there? How are we doing? We're not too cold yet. Yet. Uh, no, there's just a little river. And from what I can see, I'm just trying to get a high ground. Nothing really around there. Okay. Let's go this way. I kind of got a feeling that this might be the right place to go. And when I say I've got a feeling, I mean I really hope that there's something around here that I can sit by and try and get a little bit warmer because, sweet Jesus, this is cold. It even feels cold.
easy. I'm going to turn back a little bit. That's probably a bit too dangerous, even though it's beautiful. It feels like the cold is really settling in. We can't make a fire. We don't have any wood, even though there are trees all around. We we're running down this hill very, very, very fast. Mm. Oh, oh no, we suffered a sprain angle. No. Oh god. Oh god. No. Sprain angle. Uh, reduced mobility. Sprain angle. Uh, bandage. Summit 
soda for now. That's all I'll do. Better than better than nothing. So our thirst is right down and an energy bar for now just before bedtime is probably not the best thing to do in the world, but I'm gonna have a twelve hour rest. Let's just do it. Okay, well, 
Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have all enjoyed this series so far. Don't forget, oh, it's getting a bit cold. Let's go back in here again. <laughs>